Yo, what's up guys and welcome to our silent assassin suit only walkthrough for Bangkok on Master Mode on Hitman 2, the legacy pack that is. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 but before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Also, if you've missed any videos that I've covered so far on Master Suit Only Silent Assassin on any of the legacy packs that I've covered so far, there's a link in the description of the full playlist of the videos. So for this one, we're going to bring along our lethal pills, we're going to bring along our coin, and any pistol you want to. Uh, I chose to bring along the lethal pills, but you can bring along the lethal poison vial if you have that. Either way, um, they're very easily unlocked anyway. So for this one, we're going to actually start off and take out Ken Morgan. We're going to use the lethal poison uh, pills on the plate of food that he goes around and samples. And uh, there's a, just a very minor difference between uh, professional mode and Hitman Season 1 to compare to Hitman 2. There's going to be a chef that's standing in front. Now he is standing in sort of like a weird location in Season 1, and Hitman 2 is directly standing right in front of the food plate. So uh, we just threw a coin there to distract him, and as soon as all these, both of these chefs turn around, that's when we're going to poison the plate of food. That's in front of the two bowls, the two red bowls that is. So uh, that's the plate of food you want to go ahead and poison. That will take care of one t uh, target, he's going to sample that food, he's going to die from a poison kill. His body will be found, but um, because it's a poison kill, it won't account against your score. So you don't need to worry about that. Now, for the second one, we need to do a lot of sneaking around. We're going to pull out our pistol once we get to this stage right here and aim above the door and shoot out the camera. Once we get on the roof, there's going to be two gardeners. We're going to shoot like relatively close to him and in front of them to create a bullet impact noticed. What it's going to do is going to cause them two to panic and they're going to allow you to get across the roof easily without getting spotted, as long as you put your gun away. So that, that takes care of a lot. There's Ken Morgan dying right now. That's one target now. At this point, we're just going to take out the camera, grab the pool ball from the table, and shoot the camera out just above. Hopefully, open, opening that no one actually sees us at that point in time. Yep, we're fine. Just crouch walk through this section here. Now, this guy has probably heard the camera shots, so he's going to start be pan panicking a little bit. But don't worry, it is a consistent pattern that he does that. What we're doing at the moment is waiting for everyone to get in the right position in that room to our left. He's got a question mark above his head now, so he's just investing again the cameras. So you see inside the guy at the TV, and the, right, the guy right there, and this guy's going to have his back to you as well. So that's when you want to move through this area, when everybody's going to have their back to you. So uh, they've made it a little bit more easier on Hitman 2 in compared to Season 1, I believe, because he actually stands at the TV for a longer time than I recall in Season 1. So as soon as you see that guy have his back turned facing the TV, and the other dude facing him as well, that is a perfect moment to slide by and just crouch walk through that whole entire section without getting spotted. Regards to the guy that saw you uh, heard the noise through the camera, you, he shouldn't spot you either. He should be completely fine and safe. Through this section here, we're just going to wait for those two guards to have their backs to us to get through into this bathroom. We can easily pipe past them by just crouch running. At this point in time, I'm going to have these two crew tech members guys here. What they're going to do is I'm going to throw a coin in that direction. And the change they've made in master mode is both of them are going to investigate the noise rather than just one. I don't know why they changed that, but they, they've decided to do that. So I've threw one as a distraction. Now both are going to be walking, so I'm going to throw the wrench at one of them and immediately pull out the pool ball and throw it at the other guy. As long as you do that fast enough, uh, the, this guy isn't going to turn around and spot you. You should have enough time to do that. Now there's going to be two dudes in this room now in the bathroom. They come in and out, but when they, when they actually leave the bathroom, they spend a lot of time out of the bathroom that's their little sequence they come in and out but they spend a lot of time out of the bathroom so you should have plenty of time to hide both these bodies before they come back in but yeah it should be relatively simple as long as you take out both of these guys really quickly with the wrench and the pool ball like i've just shown you uh, yeah i'm not again and i'm not sure why they've changed that for bangkok it is like silent assassin suit only is already difficult on this map but to make that small change there i'm not really sure why they did that but uh, nevertheless, it's not that difficult to get around. We're going to ask for a retrieve our coin. And all we've got to do at this stage, really, is just wait for Jordan Cross to come down the stairs. So uh, once he comes down, we're going to shoot him in the head in the uh, the sound booth. And we'll get a look my no head a challenge completed as well. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, hide his body too, because if you leave his body in there, he does, get, he does get found. So we're just going to skip to the point where he actually comes down the stairs. Reviewed and revived. So you can take him out anytime you want to now, we're just going to shoot him while he's in the sound booth himself, so... Once we've taken him out, what we're going to do now is basically just save the game. Because um, the tricky part right now is just now escaping. 
and this is the last point you in time you want to actually mess up your son and assign some rating so you've only got one save in master mode so what i do is recommend you drop in the save right now so skipping forward we're just going to go ahead and hide jordan cross's body now so we're just going to drag his body into the bathroom because after a, after about a minute or two uh, some people do come in to investigate that sound booth and find his body in there so we're waiting for those two bodyguards that come into the bathroom to actually leave and we're going to hide Jordan Cross's body in this corner right here and tuck him well away into the corner grab his legs and tuck him well in there it should be nice and safe and so what we're going to do now is retrace our steps out of here we're going to crouch run through here and drop over the ledge and slide back down the pipe and go back exactly the way we came in it's not that difficult to get back out either it's again I think master mode is uh, just a little bit more easier than it is on professional mode in Hitman Season 1. Obviously we don't have to deal with the head turning as much these uh, these days because the view cones are a lot better now. We're going to hide this body too. I mean I don't think his body gets spotted anyway but just in case. Again we're waiting for everyone to get in the same position. Like I said look the, the guy at the TV. There's a guy there as well. They've got his back to us. That guy as long as we walk slowly he isn't going to spot us. Don't worry too much about him. You may get a little bit suspicious but as long as we go slowly you should be fine you, as long as you crouch walk you should be fine he won't come over to investigate for this guy we're going to throw a coin to distract him and then crouch walk past him and that will take as long as you get off the roof you can breathe a sigh of relief and know that you've pretty much got your silent assassin done now the only uh, the only problem we have at the moment now is the exits in professional mode on season one and in um, master mode on hitman season two we have a blocked off exit where you'd normally take the speedboat exit. You'd need a key for that exit. Also, it's a trespassing zone if you, even if you get near it. So that's ruled out of the question. So the only viable exit that we have is uh, the basement exit, which is just going to be over there. There's going to be two guards there, and there's also going to be a camera there. We're going to take out the camera, and we're going to take out uh, both guards, and uh, we should be able to escape nice and easily. I'm not sure why they've restricted all these exits for master mode, um, but unfortunately that's just the way it is on Bangkok, unfortunately. Close that door just in case we get spotted. So there's one guard patrolling up and down, and the other guard is basically facing the door at all times. First of all, we're going to take out the camera. They don't seem to be bothered about that, I'm not sure why. So now's our chance. What we're actually going to do is just knock out the guy that's facing the door and quickly escape before the other guy gets a chance to turn around and walk back. You've got about five seconds there before he turns back around, so you don't need to worry about the timing there too much. But once we escape there, we will get the Sonic Assassin suit only done for Bangkok on Master Mode. And you should have all the challenges ticked off for you on the classics, including for Casual and Professional and Master. So if you're wondering how to complete a Bangkok Silent Assassin suit on a master mode on Hitman 2, that is how you do it. So next up is going to be prefer um, um, Sniper Assassin. That's what we're going to do next. So that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if it, if it helped you out or if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below next to the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.